Welcome back everyone, Tina here and in this video today I'm walking you through the SEO tool inside of Go High Level. I will walk you through what the SEO tool can do, how it can help your business rank higher in search engines and how you can monetize and resell this tool onto your sub locations as well. With the integrated SEO tool, you eliminate the need to go out and use third party tools. So this SEO tool within your Go High Level account can help you to research keywords so that you can choose the right keywords to create content around that you can rank high on Google. It can audit websites. So you just plug a URL in, it analyzes the whole websites and gives you a report back on what you can enhance in order to make your website faster, how to improve the content so that you can rank higher. It will help you analyze backlinks. So the more backlinks you get from the outside internet world, linking back to your website, that will increase your domain authority and Google or any other search engine actually really sees it as, oh, so many other websites are talking about this one particular website. It must have authority in the space. Therefore, we will rank it higher. Okay. So that's why backlinks are very important. So this tool will help you to analyze backlinks. It will help you to analyze competitors where they have their backlinks. And then you can go ahead and build your backlink portfolio like that as well. It will obviously help you to optimize your content overall and more reporting SEO features. Now with its automation and white label capabilities, agency can offer SEO services to their clients and staying consistent on brand. Now let me show you where you can find this and what it all means. Now, if you're logged in as a user, you want to click on sites on the left and SEO at the top, and then the user can subscribe to your SEO tool and you can set the price on the agency level as per your likings. Now, let me show you real quick where you can do this. Make sure you're logged into your agency account this time. Click on reselling on the left and here you will see the SEO feature showing up. Please note it also is powered by Search Atlas, which is absolutely amazing. Here you can see your price. Here you would add the price, however much you want to sell to your clients. The Go High Level price is 79. In this case, the profit would be $18. And that also means you can generate the SEO reports with your agency's branding on it. Then under the agency settings, bottom left under billing, you will then be able to see all your SEO subscriptions and the charges for each particular client. Once you've turned all of this on, all your clients will see the SEO feature showing up under sites on the left and SEO at the top. Okay. Then here you will see the $97 per month shows up because we've set the price to $97. So whatever price you put in the back end under reselling, that price will show up right here. And like with any other reselling feature, high level will charge you the $97 per month on each account that you sell and you will charge the client's accounts for 97 in this case per month to resell it onto them. So there will be two transactions. One is the 79 going off your account and one is the 97 going off your client's account. So let me walk you through the key features of SEO. So this tool will help you to optimize websites, track the rankings, conduct audits and manage SEO campaigns efficiently. What does that mean? Manage multiple sites. You can optimize and track SEO performance across multiple websites from a single dashboard. Amazing. This basically means you can handle multiple clients' websites at the same time very efficiently. But then let's say you have different strategies for different websites. Let's say one is really focused on local SEO. The other one is really focused on reaching a worldwide market. So the strategy has to be a little bit different. So you can assign custom strategies to different sites while keeping data organized. Then there is also an AI component, which means you can automatically fix any issues using the AI integration. So AI will go through it and will automatically recommend to you to resolve common SEO errors instantly. This includes meta description, title tags, missing image and alt tags, and issues in keywords. Now, what does that all mean? Let's say, for example, we are going into blogs, go to sites on the left, blogs at the top, select any of your blog posts. And once you're in the blog builder, you have the SEO metadata button at the top here. This is, by the way, also the same for funnels and websites. You click that button and you see here the title, right? That's where you would put the title, the description. There is the description where you would include your keywords and make it SEO friendly, search engine optimized friendly. The Keywords would go here. What keywords do you want to rank for? The author who wrote this blog post or this page is very important actually because Google or any other search engine 
is after authority. Like they want people to share their real expertise. So if you are an authority in your space and they know that, they check your name and they know that you know what you're talking about, it really helps to rank your website. Then a social image, of course, links and tags and the language. Now, real quick, what does all of this mean? Title, description, keyword. If you go into Google and you type in Bali dog breed, for example, and you will see all of these results popping up right here, okay? So the first one is the winner Wikipedia. Of course, Wikipedia because their domain rating is really high, meaning the domain has aged, meaning it's a very old domain, which is already really good. But don't worry, if your domain is new, you can still win the game. Wikipedia also has loads of different backlinks, which if you remember is really good for the ranking because the more websites out there talk about your website, the higher Google will rank it. And if I keep saying Google, I mean all of the search engines, basically. Also, Wikipedia has thousands of pages within their website, which means they have topical authority over many different topics, right? So anyway, back to this part here, the title, description, and the keywords. The title is this one, Kintamani Dog. That's the title. That's a big blue bold title right here. The description is this one. It's a one sentence, right? And the keywords, why this page is ranking, that includes definitely Bali dog breed. Okay. So depending on what keywords you would like to rank for, which you can do with the SEO tool, you can do in depth keyword research. You just put them into the keyword box here, as well as into description and as well as into the title. Okay. So that's what that means. Okay. So AI will help you to fix possible errors right here. Next up, we have on page audit. The the tool will help you to make an audit on page. On page means the content that is on your page. Off page, for example, would mean backlinks, okay? Because it's nothing to do with your page. It's not on your page. So anything that's got to do with your page that you can see on your page is called on page. So the tool will help you make an audit of on page content. Once you have that report, you can then optimize key on page elements, such as title text, meta descriptions, what I just showed you, the header, H1 and H2. Let's go on to this blog post, for example. So that's H1, headline number one, that's H2, headline number two, okay? image optimization and alt tags. Basically, you need to make sure that the images are not too big so the site doesn't take up too much time to load because people are not very patient and they will drop off after a certain amount of seconds and the page is still not loaded. So that all will affect your rankings, okay? Also, the titles you put on your images, like this image should be named Bali Dogs or whatever keyword they want to rank for because Google is also able to read that file name of the file that has been put onto this page. And then internal linking structure, also very important that you link back to pages within your website. So for example, here at the top, we have different sub pages under the about tab. The about is like the main tab and about our mission, about our vision, about our story. There's many different subcategories under about, right? Then adopt foster, you can adopt or foster, then get involved, different ways how you can get involved, you get my point. But not just that, also within the blog posts, you can link back to other blog posts that are on your website, for example, or funnel pages or other sales pages and so on and so forth. Next up is the keyword and research tracking. So the tool will help you to find high performing keywords for your niche, which is very important because you want to create blog posts or content in general around low competition keywords and then high to mid search volume, for example. You can't know these things without a tool that actually analyzes these keywords, right? It will help you to analyze the keyword difficulty. The keyword difficulty basically means how difficult is it to rank for this keyword, right? So it will show you the difficulty, it will show you the search volume, and it will show you the ranking potential, which is absolutely amazing because only with this piece of data, you can really change your business. If SEO kicks off at some point and you just can dominate the market simply by implementing content based around keywords that are low difficulty, high search volume, and have really great ranking potential. But not only this, like it also increases the authority overall if people visit your website and there's actually blog posts on there written by an authority in the space, by yourself maybe, or even by your staff members, then that will look good on the internet too. Once a client goes and checks you out before they purchase from you, if you have a blog there, they're like, oh my God, they know what they talk about, right? It just adds up to the whole process of the no like, and trust factor. Next up is the keyword ranking tracking over time with real-time updates. Very important because it will then spit out information 
on which number are you ranking for? So let's go back to Google. Let's go back one step here. So this mission pausable is, for example, at stage number two. They're like the second page that rank for Bali dog breed. Wikipedia is the winner because of their authority backlinks and amount of content they have. But the second one is mission possible. The third one is the Bali dog, uh, the street post.ch, right? So the system will show you where you're at in the rankings and it will spit out a strategy as well, what you can do in order to rank higher. So let's say you are at rank number five and you want to be three, then there's different things you can tick off the list and implement in order to rank higher and be number three instead of number five, right? And also there are heat maps to visualize keyword performance trends. Next up, website audit and optimization. We already touched on that. There will be full site audits to identify issues and affecting search visibility and automatically the tool will detect a resolution hey is there duplicate content on this site search engines will punish you for broken links and for for errors schema markup errors and page load speed issues like we already said earlier if your page loads too slow that will affect your rankings if there is duplicate content and that doesn't mean just on your site that means if you stole the content from elsewhere on the internet they will detect that and punish you for it okay of course no authoritative website should have broken links so these things are really bad for your site rankings so the system will detect that and tell you hey go and get your 404 links fixed next up the local seo tool it will optimize geotargeted search results. So the local SEO is a bit different than as if you would be speaking to worldwide market. Okay. And then the site explorer for in-depth domain and competitor analysis, which is really amazing. You can just plug in your competitors. You can see what they're doing SEO wise, and then you can up your game and try to catch them, try to kick them off one rank and get higher and higher, higher listed on the search engines. Next up, we have the keyword rank tracker. We already touched on that. Track keywords rankings for up to 1000 keywords keywords, you'd be pretty busy implementing those keywords anyway. It will monitor fluctuations and rankings across search engines. It will tell you where you have opportunity to grow and the areas that need improvement and all of that for multiple different websites if you're an agency that manages multiple clients. Then the backlink analysis and monitoring. Again, backlinks are important for your rankings. But also it's important to get the right backlinks, not just any random backlink. So if you have this blog about Bali dogs, then it would be good to get backlinks from dog related websites that link back to you or charities or any animal related websites rather than some dentists somewhere in Abu Dhabi. You know, that's not related. So that would be toxic for your website. Only related backlinks are really, really important. It will also monitor new and lost backlinks, which is very interesting. And again, it will show you what your competitors are doing so that you can refine your link building strategy. You can then optimize content as well with AI. AI will tell you how you can make your content better, basically. It will analyze based on NLP-based content, which makes sure it aligns with Google ranking signals, which change all the time, by the way, so you got to be on top of your game. It's literally impossible to do any of this without a software. As you can probably see, it will help you to optimize the blog posts, landing pages and service pages for higher visibility. It includes like the structure, the readability, all of that. It will suggest how you can internally link and improve the site structure and the user experience because you can't just link any random link within your website to another random link within your website. It has to make sense. There has to be a strategy behind it. Next up, there is also content planning would help you to plan up to 15 topic clusters for targeted content creation. A cluster is basically a main topic. Let's say, for example, dogs. Dogs would be the main cluster and then you have many subcategories beneath that, which could be Bali dog breed, German shepherds and all of that, like the mini subcategories basically, all under one cluster. AI powered recommendations for pillar pages and supporting content, same thing. Basically means it will give you suggestions on what other topics you can write about that fit under the main pillar pages and the content planner will make sure that your content is aligned with the best search intent. Next up, we have the SEO reporting and analytics section. It will basically create an in-depth data-driven SEO report with actionable insights, which helps you to track SEO performance metrics, including keyword rankings, organic traffic trends, engagement metrics, where do people land, where do they click first, how did they find out about your website first, which are the best pieces of content, multi-site reporting for agents managing multiple clients again and then the white label reporting to provide professional SEO insights for the clients underneath your 
agency brand. It's also very tight integrated with funnels and websites. It will help you to not only optimize the blog posts, it will also help you to optimize the funnel pages to improve the organic traffic and the conversions. That goes back to the site structure. Same here, AI-driven SEO recommendations for high converting sales pages. How should you set up a sales page so that people actually opt in? Which means it's in seamless integration between the SEO strategies and the actual lead generation funnels or sales funnels. And that's it already, ladies and gentlemen. This is the one tool you really, really need. You can't know any of this by yourself. It's impossible to do any of this by yourself. You need a really good tool to analyze all of this data in order to increase organic traffic to your websites. Now, if you haven't set up your Go High Level Agency just yet, click the link in the description below, snag your 30-day free trial or upgrade your existing membership and snag some awesome bonuses. All the bonuses are linked in the description below. Have a look and I will see you on the other side.